Scary Mysteries, Twisted News, Pandora Papers, and Juwan Deering. Terrifying cases of true crimes and strange events. Every week, Twisted News dives into two mysterious and scary cases currently happening in our world. This week, we'll tackle the highly controversial Pandora Papers leak and the shocking development on a man wrongfully imprisoned for the deaths of five children. Get ready for scary mysteries, twisted news. Number one, Pandora Papers leak. First came the offshore leaks in 2013, followed by the Panama Papers in 2016 and the Paradise Papers the following year. In 2021, while the world is still gripped with COVID-19, yet another controversy has emerged. Its extent was so large, and the amount of information it held was so disturbing that the first three aforementioned leaks would pale in comparison to it. Called the Pandora Papers, these documents that are in the news recently revealed evidence of hidden wealth, tax avoidance, and money laundering committed by some of the most powerful people and famous personalities around the globe. The expose didn't just appear right out of the blue either. Almost a thousand journalists from 117 countries have worked together digging up almost 7 million documents, 3 million images, a million emails, and 500,000 more spreadsheet files with a goal to uncover the dirtiest secrets from the world's rich and powerful. All this jarring information was obtained by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, or the ICIJ. Based in Washington, D.C., this global organization is headed by 300 renowned investigative journalists with affiliations to over 100 media companies from around the world. The Pandora Papers has yet to be the biggest endeavor that they have ever taken on. What is known so far is that there are more than 330 politicians from 90 countries who use secret offshore companies to conceal their assets. Basically, these people are hiding their money away from the public for different reasons, including tax evasion. The investigation revealed complex networks of companies that are set up overseas in various countries like Panama, Belize, and Central America, Singapore, Brunei, and the Marshall Islands in Asia-Pacific, and the Cayman Islands, Bahamas, and Antigua in the Caribbean. They're called tax havens, because there's little to no corporation tax being imposed in these places. Such lenient laws extend well to offshore money accounts deposited within their borders. The leak went on to reveal that there's a gargantuan amount of money stashed in these offshore jurisdictions. By estimates, it could range between 10 trillion to a whopping 32 trillion US dollars. The IMF, or the International Monetary Fund, said that by using tax havens, governments around the world were deprived of at least 600 billion US dollars in taxes each year. You'd be surprised to hear the names of public figures accused of hiding what's basically considered ill-gotten wealth. Topping the list is Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta. ICIJ said that the head of the state and his family has owned seven offshore shell companies with a total value of more than $30 million. The Czech Prime Minister, Andre Babis, was also reported using offshore companies to acquire assets. A staunch advocate in the country's fight against corruption, Babis was able to avoid declaring these assets in his declaration form. Tony Blair, the former British Prime Minister, was also dragged into this anomaly when he purportedly purchased properties by way of an offshore firm. The documents further revealed other personalities like Chilean President Sebastian Panera. He allegedly had used shell companies in the British Virgin Islands to transact dealings involving a controversial mining project. Brazil's economy minister, Paulo Guedes, also reportedly had multi-million dollars worth of investments in offshore assets. Quite expectedly, there was also the mention of business tycoons accused of stockpiling their fortunes overseas. 
Headlining the report are the three Mexican businessmen, German Larea, a mining magnate, Maria Rambarazalaba, heiress of Modelo Beer, and Olegario Aldir, a conglomerate head. ICIJ said that they will be identifying more personalities in the coming months. While most of us may think that this has little to no effect on society, it surely does. The decision to hide this taxable money has a direct impact on everyone's life, whether it's in the aspect of health, education, food, and access to a home. The public is now calling on international authorities to take action on this alarming issue. Number 2. Juan Deering There's no way to tell how many individuals around the world are convicted of a crime they didn't commit. With no way to get around it, these unfortunate souls must serve prison time for something they didn't do in the first place. And while this may be disheartening, there are still some stories that somehow restore our hope and faith in Lady Justice. On the evening of April 6, 2000, the Dean family was celebrating the birthday of their six-year-old son inside their house in Royal Oak Township. Suddenly, a man went on the porch, splashed it with charcoal lighter fluid, and set the home ablaze. The mother and four other children got out, but trapped with a birthday boy, his sister, and three brothers. They all died from burn injuries and smoke inhalation. Six years later, Michigan authorities got their suspect, a man named Juwan Deering. A small-time drug dealer, Deering was accused of what was thought to be revenge for unpaid drug debts. But the manner in which he got tied to the case was rather questionable, to say the least. Months after the fiery incident, Deering was arrested for resisting arrest during a traffic stop. While in jail, he claimed to another inmate that he was the one who set the Dean house on fire and he got out later after that. In 2001, he once again was jailed for an unrelated violation. The same as the last, he spoke to another cellmate about his responsibility in the fiery crime. He was freed again, but in 2003 was thrown back in for violating probation. And this time, prosecutors planted an inmate in the same cell where Deering was held and their plan was for that mole to draw out incriminating statements. It somehow worked for them, with Deering blurting out about sending a message to Oliver Dean, the man of the house whom he allegedly burned down. In March of 2006, despite the lack of circumstantial evidence, the Oakland County resident was outrightly accused of murder and arson. In August of that same year, the court found him guilty of the charges and he was given a life sentence. From time to time, his defense would file an appeal for a reconsideration. They argued that the evidence coming from the jail informant shouldn't be enough to indict him. However, Deering had to spend 15 years in prison before his appeal would finally be heard. In 2021, a new Oakland County prosecutor decided to take a look at his conviction with the help of the Michigan Innocence Clinic, the defense was able to procure an updated analysis on the case, whereby they found out that the fire most likely had started inside the Dean residence and not as what was established earlier. The review also uncovered the testimony of a fire survivor, which was not presented during the 2006 trial. The jurors also didn't know about the special benefits that the jail informants got after they testified against the suspect. After a thorough review of the case, the new prosecutor decided to acquit Deering of all criminal charges. In September of 2021, the 50-year-old was finally found innocent and declared free. He would also be eligible for more than $700,000 as reparations from the state just as much as the victims deserve it. From time to time, there are also people like Deering who also need justice themselves. So there were two of the most strange and surprising stories around. 
The world could be a crazy place and Twisted News is always sure to show you why. If you guys like this video, then please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check out our podcast called Every Town. We have new videos coming out every single week on this channel for you guys to check out. Appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you soon.